This is the Bose Registering Accountant, manufactured by the American Arithmometer Company. The American Arithmometer Company is a predecessor to the Bose Adding Machine Company. The Bose Adding Machine Company was founded in, I think, 1904 in Detroit. But before that, it was the American Arithmometer Company based out of St. Louis. And the American Arithmometer Company made the, the very first Bose machines. I guess at the time, they hadn't thought of calling it an adding machine. Uh, so they called it the Bose Registering Accountant. Um, and overall, it's, it's very similar to a Bose Class 1. Um, but at the time they manufactured these, this was the only machine that they made. So instead of calling it a Class 1, they had different styles of the machine. So we take a look at, look at this one. It is a style number four. Uh, once they once they switched over to uh, the Burroughs Adding Machine Company, they continued to have uh, the style designators for a while. Uh, like my early Burroughs Adding Machine that I have is a, a, a style number three. Uh, that's a larger capacity machine with a wider carriage. Uh, you can see this is a smaller capacity machine. Um, I think one of the smallest capacity machines that they made. And it does not have the wide carriage. Instead, get over here it has the simple paper roll with that just prints on a regular a regular adding machine paper like you'd expect so operation of this machine is fairly straightforward you simply enter your number on the keyboard and then pull the handle and release it now, as you can see there's these nice uh, nickeled you could focus on that, please. These nice nickeled um, accumulator wheels. We can continue. As you can see, we have our total in there. Now to total it out, there is a total key here. Um, you know, this is just within a Bose class one. If it's locked, that means you have to do an empty crank. And then this is going to be hard to do, um, but you have to hold down the total key and pull the handle at the same time. So not sure if I'm gonna be able to demonstrate that, um, but you know, it, it works the same. Basically you hold this down, pull the handle and it prints the total and clears out the um, accumulator. You can also use the total key as a clear key, so if you enter some number that you don't like, just pressing it once will clear the keyboard. And this also kind of works as a subtotal key too. If you pull the, press this down and then start to pull the handle and then release this, it will do a subtotal operation. Not sure if that was uh, intended by design, but it just happened to work out that way. And this key here is the arrow key, so that will lock down. And then if you put a number in, you can use the same number multiple times and then release that and you can pull it again and it clears it out. So yeah, overall it's very similar to a Burroughs Class 1. Uh, it has the nice beveled glass sides as you can see. So you can actually see the internals of the machine. We have a little bit of glare there, but the glass on this is actually in very nice shape. Uh, one of the nicest ones that I think I've seen. So the nicest one that I have. Now on the other side it's also glass is in very nice shape and you can see the internal workings of the machine. Uh, the lettering on the the front piece of glass here is actually etched into uh, the back of the glass, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, on the Bose adding machines, you know, they have just like a little decal in the bottom there, but on this one, it's actually etched into the back of the glass. So it's actually very nice because it made cleaning it very easy. You didn't have to worry about wiping that off since it's etched in. Um, but yeah, based on the serial number of this machine, it was manufactured around 1900. Uh, you can see the serial number there, number 6692. Um, they, at the time when this machine was manufactured, they would, um, reserve different serial number, serial number ranges for different styles. So there'd be a block of, you know, maybe a thousand serial numbers for style three, a block of so many for style two and a block of so many for style four and, and so on. So, um, it's not sequential like most companies where, you know, every machine leaving the factory got a sequential number. Um, each block of numbers would be designed to a style and then as that style was manufactured um, each machine of that style got a sequential number within that block 
So based on the style, you have to look up this, the block for the style, and based on that, you can kind of get some information on when the machine was manufactured. But yeah, overall, it's this is in very nice shape. You can see the original felt there is very good. Um, have the little paper advance wheel over here. And of course the paper tail off. You can see the the printing works fairly well. Um, I probably should put a new ribbon in this. This actually does have the ribbon that it came with when I got it. Um, so I didn't change it yet, but it printed well enough to read, so I didn't change it. But you actually can get ribbons for these. Um, there's a place that sells old typewriter ribbons, and one of the old typewriter ribbons that they sell, you know, for like the Remington Number no. 2 or, or similar typewriters, actually fits um, this machine. Uh, your mileage may vary. Different styles use different width ribbons, but um, there is a ribbon that available that fits this so yeah i think that's going to be about it for this video i just wanted to do a little overview of this machine um these seem to be pretty rare uh, but i think it's a, an interesting part of the both calculating machine history and burrows history to find one of these american air thermometer burrows registering counting machines you know close up on the patent plate there Actually, the latest patent is from 1898 um yeah one bonus that I got with this machine is actually this. So this is, as far as I can tell, original, uh, the Burroughs case key. So it has the, the wide barrel on the bottom here, works for the class 1s and I think the class 3s. And it has this smaller, narrow one, which I think is for the class 5s. And it just has a little flat-bladed screwdriver on that side. So that was a very nice bonus to got with this machine. Um, yeah, it's going to conclude our little overview of this. Uh, if you want more in-depth information on how these machines work, I do have videos on my channel about um, my Burroughs, uh, Burroughs Adding Machine Class 1. Um, or kind of made a couple of videos going over, you know, full operations on that and, and how the mechanism works and everything. So, yeah, if you want more information on that, you can check that out. But for this, just want to get a little overview of this American Air Thermometer Registering Accountant. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.